White Lion. White Lion. White Lion. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The Jagaban of Africa and the Ashwaju of the world. Be careful. Next time, don't introduce yourself as Ashwaju. Where you see Ashwaju. Your Excellency. My wonderful brother, brothers and colleagues here present, the executive governor of Lagos State, Jusan Wodu, Your Excellency, the executive governor of Kano State, Lahaji Omar Gaduji Kadimul Islam. Yes. My wonderful brother, I have a letter of congratulations to our leader. I'll read it out and then make a very few remarks because the time is fast spent. Your Excellency, sir, letter of felicitations and support. Congratulations, sir. The Special National Convention for Presidential Primaries of our great party the All Progressives Congress APC has concluded. And there is no denying that Your Excellency won a decisive and well earned victory. <laughs> Accordingly, and as far as I'm concerned, all competitions within the APC ended on that day, which was 8th of June at the Eagle Square which I imagine as our candidate for the 2023 presidential elections. The task that now lies before us all as loyal APC members is to support you for, to fairly and roundly defeat the opposition at all levels in the 2023 general elections and elect you to the presidency. This is a task to which I am firmly committed with the full complement of the resources at my disposal, including a well-fitted and functional campaign secretariat, yes. Your Excellency, this very secretariat, all of which I now place under your command oh. and control. <laughs> your Excellency, I have no doubt that with you as our national leader, flag bearer, and General Simu, the APC will extend her presidential winning streak in 2023. Most importantly, that we shall thereby strengthen the capacity of our party to deliver on security, unity, and prosperity to all Nigerians. Please accept my warm felicitations once again, as well as the assurances of my highest esteem. Sign, my humble self, the higher pillow. So let me present the letter to you first. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have today collapsed my campaign council into your campaign council, that is the general presidential campaign council. Oh. And I hereby hand over this particular secretariat to your presidential campaign council. <laughs> your Excellency, we spent a little time together just a while ago. And I learned a lot from you. I was born by an old parent 
read by old siblings, old parents, and old people. And I have developed the skill and the tactics of learning from older people and advanced people. Your Excellency, I have learned a lot from just the little lecture you gave to us a while ago. And I urge each and every one of us to continue to learn from elders. Indeed, what elders see when they are in the valley, some young ones will never see even if they are at the top yes. of the hill, of the mountain. No wonder that our dear President, President Muhammad Buhari, have been able, together with you, join forces together, and some other well-respected elders of this country to form this great party, the All Progressives Congress, that has laid a solid foundation and continue to lay a solid foundation for younger ones like us to come and build on top in the future. The exercises have come and gone, and I am telling you that I will be that general that will be on the field to command the younger generation, because they believe in me in their numbers, but to lead them to that polling units in every nooks and crannies of this country to make sure that we win resoundingly. <laughs> Never will PDP ever come to power again. And I want to assure you that within your terms in office as President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we will support you. We will be there for you. We will be there for Nigerians. We will command the Nigerian youths, women, and people with special needs to ensure that we have peace in this country. We have security in this country. There's unity in this country. And then that is the only way we can guarantee prosperity or progress in this our nation. While we were preparing for this office that God Almighty has given to you, of course, God gives power to who he desires, who he wants at any point in time. Your Excellency, we came up with a roadmap with our own ideas, thinking of how we think we can improve this country. So I'm going to give you some copies today, officially. Look into it. Take whatever you think is good enough. Of course, they are all very good enough. And merge it put it together with your own blueprint or roadmap, and let's see how we can partner together and secure and unite this country. Your Excellency, I am going to give you a copy officially right now. Once again, I'm sorry for disturbing you too. Today you're going to do exercise. Uh, you will join me in the gym very, very soon by the grace of God. I know you will leave me. Thank you very much. On this note, Your Excellency, please take your seat, sir. On this note, I sincerely appreciate all of my colleague governors from across the country who national convention that produced our Jagaban, and today we have a standard bearer. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity also for part to participate and to have learned through the process. And I know that by the next season, after our leader's terms, just know that you have a son in me who is going to take over from you. <laughs> I thank you all once again. And of course, uh, last not the least, I appreciate the party under the leadership of our chairman, distinguished Senator Abdullahi Adamu, who is uh, leading the party to a success. Senator Abdullah Adamu has never lost election. And we are confident that when all of us party faithfuls and members and Nigerians come behind him, we will deliver a resounding you know, victory. And I thank our president, President Muhammad Buhari, who gave a level playing field 
for every aspirant and every Nigerian who qualify and desire to participate. There are those conventions where there will be crises and what have you, but ours went very, very smoothly under his watchful eye, Mr. President. We thank you, all the Nigerian youths and women, I salute you. Thank you, and God bless all. Ashiwaju, brother Ahmed Tinubu, to respond. Your Excellency, sir. Sit down and respond. Thank you, sir. Your Excellency, a brother, a friend, and a colleague, Governor Yaya Bello. And a son. And a son. Second song. Thank you. <laughs> to all of you, my friend, and the Fatigable Gandu J. <laughs> Very reliable. Confident, hardworking governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Lusolasha Wodu. And my friend, I will say to him, no matter how short a man is, he will see the sky. Comrade Adam Oshomale. <laughs> the governor, the chairman, and soon to be governor. So soon to be senator. To the team of GYD, I could see on the wall. S for security, U for unity, plus I inclusivity equal prosperity. Yes, I believe in it. <laughs> you have a good team. Directed by my daughter, Absat Abiola Costello. When I saw her, I feel back on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pity. Today, we take a very good step to say we want to work for a country, one country, a united country. That is get concerned about prosperity for its citizens. To all of you in the team of Yaya Bello for president, thank you for your loyalty, dedication, and commitment. You made a mark. You were resolved. You were resolute. But there's a difference between the tiger and the lion. And no matter there's 
the same in Yoruba. No matter how many clothes in the wardrobe of the young one, you cannot have as many rags as the older man. the convention. Many of us lined up willing and wanting to become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But we all know that there's only one seat and one person among us assisted by a vice president that will be there. So the faith in today that you have to say you wanted to be is a commendable faith. It's not a mere fluid of dream. It's a real one. You mobilize the consciousness of the youth in the country, the women, people with disabilities, what the nation, what the nation needs to be, yes, you reminded us. I thank equally my person, Mutawale of Sampara. one of the stiffest battle, crisis, opposition, banditry, everything. I thought the time I we eat him up. <laughs> but no way. He didn't surrender. He didn't collapse. He brought the team together and listened to the word of elders. And he has brought the state for peace. So many stories. <laughs> we can go on and on. This, but let's celebrate the joy. The joy that we have a country. Let's give respect to the dead. To the dead. The person of MQ Abiola, in whose democratic memory, June 12th, became a national holiday. <laughs> Kudira Tabiola, Absa's mother, who made that sacrifice? It was in a house. No, that's a paddy cap. Brown cap with old turban tied up and escaped <laughs> from this country so that I can come back to fight again. Mm -hmm. And I came back with fought. The democracy is here. I'm glad 
that she is participating. She's working hard to bring that peace, prosperity, to demonstrate that courage and determination to save Nigeria. What is important and what is different in what we did in the convention is we were multiplied by three of our rivals convention. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 They thought they have a chaos. We blow. We navigated our way through it. They thought there would be crisis. We smile at each other. No backing, mm. no biting, yeah. no beating. Yeah. What else did they expect? Yes, I said in my language, in the appropriate place, where Abiola is a descendant, a chief, a son of the soil, a Milokon, <laughs> any Yoruba man, any person who understand Yoruba, we know the meaning a Milokon. It's my turn. And in some churches today, it has become a prayer in the local Ebenezerbury. To all of you, I say thank you. You've done a good job. Thank you, sir. If the mood will reflect the day, I will spend the night here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, for <laughs> donating a befitting office for us to continue to struggle. We will think, use our intellectual inclusiveness, build a nation of sound mind, sound people, elevate our people, extract them from poverty. There is no reason to be in abject poverty in this country. We are brilliant people. Let us wear the uniform of can do, the mind of those people who have built other nations. It is a responsibility, particularly people from this age. You are the owner of today, tomorrow, and day after. It will be your grandchildren that we drive the nation after you have gone. The prayer is that we will live a united, prosperous nation for you. Amen. You see what Mamadou Buhari as the president left? So many of you have caught soccer watchers. Eh? Before the end of the game, they will say, the commentator will say, who is the man of the match? Mm. The man of the convention, the man of the democracy for that day was Mamadou Buhari. You say you want to run, run. <laughs> you want to crawl, crawl. <laughs> you want to dance, dance. <laughs> he left the feet for us. Let us perform in the way we want. He carried the day. Nigeria
Nigeria united, Nigeria is happy. Prosperity, greatness, courage, and every opportunity that can build a nation, that can make a nation our own, your green passport being respected. It's in your hand. It's in our brain. We will use it. Amen. God bless Nigeria. Now, GYB, like you said, is going to go shoulder to shoulder to wear the car, yes. and there it goes. <laughs>